Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're watching Clone High Season 2, Season 2. Season 3. <laughs> and if you want us to watch more of this show, then get this video to 15,000 likes. And check out the Patreon for the uncut recording and also to vote on what we watch next. And subscribe for JFK to be our president again. God bless. Previously on a very special season of Clone High. We do need the recap. It has been a year. It's been a year? It's only been a year. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. I can't think of anything I wanted to see less than that. Those are like the quirky hot topic kids who like make out like in the middle of the hallway. Like nobody wants to see that. They're really setting your standards for the season right at the beginning. Sounds like you blew your budget on the death maze and don't have the funds to treat us like experimental rats anymore. Am I right guys? Is this the producers behind the show? Yeah, are they saying they blew their entire budget? Season two is just like no animation. That's why they're canceling it after this season, bro. HBO Max was like, nah, man. The labels on these say don't shoot indoors. Is this Chuck Norris? Wait, that's Mr. Peanut Butter's voice actor. Did you say your name was Hairsuit? It's pronounced Hersuit. And if you don't know what it means, I suggest you look it up. It kind of does mean hair suit. What <laughs> is that? What? It kind of does mean exactly the thing I was thinking of the entire time. We should have more shows that just resolve a joke by the character looking it up on their phone. I wish every joke in every show was like that. That actually makes me want to be on time. He seems too cool for school, yet here he is. That was a riot. He seems too cool for school, and yet he's in the school. It's like a nerd emoji, statement. I hired him for a reason, Scudworth. No one is to touch him or the finely crafted satchel from friends he carries so stylishly at his side are they like lovers or her and the teacher like he's obsessed with her i know it's a relationship with a problematic power dynamic just like every relationship we're the bleacher creatures roll call my name is topher <gasps> topher no way dude joan joins the incels literally this is like the incel army right here I'm Jackie the Ripper. Everyone thinks that Jack the Ripper was a man, but it was me, a lady with a lust for blood. What a fascinating twist. Aren't most serial killers men? That's why they couldn't catch him, because it wasn't a him. We live in the suburbs. Our school's very well funded. You just don't like him because you're a rule follower? I got jump scared by how thick Cleopatra was. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I was legitimately scared. Cause all the characters look like twigs and then Cleopatra is like, I don't even know. Yeah, she's right next to Frida and like the thickness on either end is like the entire body mass of Frida times three. The fire just doubled in size. We fight fire with fire. That's our time, see you tomorrow. That's some real firefighting tactics. Am I the only one who thinks this guy is dangerous at all? You're not alone. Oh my god, it's Dominique Toussaint Louverture. He is f***ed. His, his jawline is insane, dude. His jawline goes all the way back. Like, it goes around his neck. This shot fucking scares me. Like, this scares me. Like, they look scary. That dude was born to mew. Like, he invented mewing and looks maxing back in his day. Someone's going to get hurt. The suit might be opening minds, but he's filling them with garbage. Is it just me or does this episode feel like extremely low stakes compared to like anything else that has ever happened in this show ever? Yeah, I feel like nothing has happened. I'm very confused. Professor, look, I'm staring directly at the sun and it doesn't hurt. It's just beautiful. You don't think it's fucked up that we can't look directly at the sun? Isn't that kind of annoying? Well, I mean, we can. It's just the liberals that are stopping you. Hot air doesn't rise. Oh, I like it. The Big Bang Theory didn't start everything Young Sheldon did. Oh, yeah. Lefty Young Sheldon reference. You hear that? Did you hear that fucking thing? It was the Big Bang Theory didn't start everything Young Sheldon did, is what JFK just said. What the fuck does JFK know about Young Sheldon, though? It's my favorite show. I love when Young Sheldon's brother impregnates that woman. Right now, I'm holding something in my hand. If gravity is real, it should fall when I drop it, correct? Gravity is fake, it's an illusion created by Democrats. It didn't fall. That means there's no such thing as gravity. Twitter, is this a Twitter misinformation episode? I wish. I don't want you to get hurt. Well, I'm sworn to secrecy on that, but I will say this, I ate magnets and I'm feeling fine. Bye bae. <laughs> Is that Magneto's origin story? I ate magnets and now I have heartburn. See ya, babe. Ooh, a moped. Or is it moped? So European. I've never been on one of these before. Is it safe? Is she already cheating on Confucius? They started dating and now you're dating fucking sexy dude. Well, this guy doesn't eat magnets. That jawline is giving like 30 year old banker. He looks like he owns like a fucking Chase bank. Number zero. 
Where are the aliens? Dude, that's probably gonna come back later in the season. That they're actually aliens all along. Like that's the plot just at the end of the season. Who's there? Mom? Peepa? Bill Nye, the science lie. <laughs> but I always fuck with Beaker's World instead, though. Fuck Bill Nye. I cannot run a channel with a Bill Nye hater. Have you seen Beaker's World? It was like there was big rats and he was crazy. Yeah, I notoriously love rats, bro. <laughs> but these rats were cool. Bill Nye created science and I will not hear anything else. My hands get sweaty when I'm nervous and my pets. But your eyes are beautifully dry. Just like this episode, beautifully dry. That would get my panties wet. If a dude told me my eyes look dry, like I would instantly get wet. Well, because it's obviously a pickup line. Like your eyes are dry. Like, let me make them moist, baby. Starts licking, bro. Let me lick your eyeballs. Oh my God. Is that what's happening? Oh my God. Do we have to censor the eyeballs? Oh my God, dude. This is a bad joke. This is Big Mouth. This is what Big Mouth looks to me as someone who's never watched Big Mouth. He's eating her eye pussy. Why did I have to say that? Is she picking him? <laughs> oh. Jeez, eye picking. That was the best joke in the episode. I'll prove that gravity does not exist. On my signal, Confucius. Three, two. Stop. Why she said that so weirdly? I figured out the problem with this episode is that Harriet Tubman is the main character of the episode. Students died when he convinced them that they could breathe underwater. Then there was the lethal vaccination by raccoon juice. My raccoon. 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 My raccoon. It's ra, not ra. No one talks like that. Then I guess I didn't see you two gadabouting around the campus last night. Is that true, Harriet? What is the perspective on that frame? It's like he's on top of us. Get off of me. Like, don't taunt me. I did not consent, Confucius. I made my decision. Ah! He's so rich. He swallowed the madness. Quick, quick, quick. There's very little time. <laughs> Dude, that scream is so real. This is the good clone high joke. The fact that he just keeps falling and every single time the camera pans back to him, he's higher than he was the last time we saw him. I love the realistic scream. Well, he's so big. What is this frame right now? What the fuck was that frame? I never want to care that much about school ever again. Me neither. Ugh, we should have known he was trouble. I should have knew he was trouble when he walked in, bro. Like, there's got to be a Taylor Swift episode. Like, do you think there's going to be an episode where Taylor Swift shows up and Cleopatra, like, sells Frida's life for tickets? We're going to have to add another butt to that. Yay! 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 Nobody likes me. Not even teachers. My name is Joan, the new bleacher creature. Wow, this is depressing, dude. Who the hell? But well, she tried to kill everybody last season. But did she mean it though? There was one shining star who outshone them all. Young Cinnamon J. Scudworth. Oh wait, this is Scudworth backstory episode? No way. No one could spot more fish than Scudworth. Oh my God. Players have to spot fish. Scudworth, the National Snorkeling Invitational starts in 20 minutes. Why doesn't the superintendent want Scudworth? He is literally the eater master. He can hold his breath for a long time and can smell fish. And he doesn't mind blood. And he can point too. He's good at pointing. Dude, he's literally the eater master. Like hire this guy. Yeah, but his nipples are too big. That's a problem. Never to be seen again. Wait, why is he depressed? He's got plenty of good reasons to be. Oh, he became like a snorkeling coach or something. Hmm? Wistful sigh. Wistful sigh. They are going out of their way to include the nipples in every single frame of this man with his shirt off. He was the face of male nipples until he failed. Someone who can help me recapture the glory I felt. Before I ruined everything! I love gore. You got a bunch of glass stuck in you. 16 pieces in your left leg, 18 in the right leg, 9 in your right arm. What is this joke? They're really good at spawning things, so they're gonna want them to be the snorkeling. Oh my god, that's beautiful. When you encountered all that with the effortless skill of a snorkeling champion? A snorkeling what now? I'm telling you, this sport directly correlates with good pussy eaters. And you know Frida is tearing that fucking rug up with Cleopatra. You know what I'm saying? Here you go, boo. This one's finished. Oh, cool. Are
our heads on a platter. <laughs> I hate her. Okay, I actually hate Cleopatra. That is a beautiful painting that is extremely creative and she's like weirded out by it. Maybe don't date a weirdy artsy person if you don't like weird art. But she can eat pussy really good, so it's like worth it. Here's my guess. I think Joan and Cleopatra are gonna get together in the season. I think every woman is gonna be gay. The season just ends with every single woman dating each other and all of the men straight. We need you to hold it together. Ah! Holy fuck! That's the thing she does, though. It's Mary Antoinette. Is it Mary Antoinette, the miraculous ladybug character? No, that's Mary An Oh, yeah, it is. It actually is Mary Antoinette. Didn't she die in the first season also? And Cat Noir saved her, right? Where's Cat Noir when we need him, bro? Let's sabotage the cheerleaders from the inside. You mean wear their skins? No, Ivan the Terrible. No historical figure that you are, and we already knew that because we're watching this show. I understand where you're coming from, Jack, but also sometimes I like it when they repeat it because I forget. And so I think you should maybe stop being so critical because they're just trying to help us. Okay, I'll stop being critical in our commentary channel. The cheerleaders appear to be saying hell together. That is humorous. That is one humorous thing. Go sports. I love sport game. Dude, sport game is my favorite. Joan's a verb now. It means screwing everything up for everyone else. Oh my god. It's already in the urban dictionary. This is Mordecai though. That's literally a Mordecai. Don't pull a Mordecai. Don't pull a Joan. I kind of fucked that. All right, rookie. I'm going to give you the same advice the great Schneider Schnorkel once gave me. I actually like this plot. I feel like they're a pretty good combination. Well, Frida Kahlo is like one of the few characters in this show that I actually like. It's because she's one of the characters that works with everyone. Some characters, their traits just make them unfunny when they're paired with other people, but Frida just works with anyone. For Frida Jolly Good Kahlo, for Frida Jolly Good Kahlo. That's a pretty funny one. That's pretty good. I like what I saw out there today, kid. I want to make you part of the show. Schneider snorkeling fam. Look how Frida is built though. Like look at her shoulders. Like how is she built? It looks dolphin like. They look like a dolphin. It like doesn't have shoulders. The snorkelplex, big city USA. Just don't Joan it up this time. Even he knows it? <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Well, old people use TikTok now, bro. He probably knows what girl dinner is, man. Yeah, when you go to TikTok and find your grandma posting about girl dinner. Yeah, it really seemed like I was having fun hanging out with my old pal, right? This Joan plot is very much like every high school movie, though. Someone puts you up to interacting with the cool people, and they're lying the whole time, and then it gets the liar reveal plot gets <laughs> revealed at the end of the movie. I just don't like it because Joan and Harry don't have a good dynamic. Yeah, they should have done this plot with Topher instead of Joan. Like, Topher's the one who joins the team. Yes, I actually think that would be way funnier. Wait, I thought you were going to that art expo next Friday. You know, I never heard back about the stuff I submitted. Bro, imagine Frida Kahlo makes new art in 2024 and they reject her. A lot better than those worthless paintings I used to give you, huh? I mean, I want to say no. But oh no, Cleo's a sugar baby, dude. This is so funny because like, it's like, so obvious what they're doing. It's not subversing my expectations. It's just doing exactly what I would expect to happen. She should get into finger painting. She can combine her two passions. You're a fucking genius, dude. You are one of the smartest people of our time. Do you ever hear from that art expo I entered? I never heard a thing from that contest. Oh no. Oh, you're saying that because he heard a thing from that contest. I think you're right, Core. I actually think you're right on that one. I don't have media literacy, so I don't think so. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna take his word for it, actually. He's a good guy. There you are. What took you so long? The masculinity of JFK is just so beautiful. His hairy armpits. Do you think that was something Marilyn Monroe requested of JFK for him to never like trim his armpit hairs? Now get changed, it's winning time. Hey, Scott, just want to say good luck tonight. I thought that that was a funny symbol on his chest for a second. I thought that I mean, that may have been something else for a second there. Now take that stupid... This isn't stupid. It's exquisite. Is it like him naked with big fat nips? It's his nipples, but his nipples are pizzas. And she's eating the pizza nipples. Think about it, Chad. That's so gorgeous. Wait, so you'll be holding the all-important first letter. But as long as you're the base... I know we can do it. <gasps> she's all about that base like Megan Trainer, bro. As long as she's based, it'll be okay. Dude, is she gonna choose the Underground Railroad or the school shooters, bro? That's what you gotta choose from. Gertrude Stein? No. I spelled a dirty word. <laughs> What in God's name is happening right now? Best part of the episode. I'm not, I don't know what the fuck just happened, but that, that made me smile. 
Ready, team? Three, two, one! One high. One high for all. Who did this? Harriet, I'm a jerk. I was mad at you, so I was going to betray you. Is she, like, trying to sound sarcastic on purpose in this scene? Well, that's what they did in the first season, but I feel like it wasn't as over the top as this. I really do want to be friends again. <gasps> really? Shh. In secret. Oh, in secret, like the Underground Railroad. Oh, my God. Dude, Harriet is so good at keeping secrets, like cheating on her boyfriend, having friends. She didn't cheat on her boyfriend. He I f***ed. Metaphorically. I metaphorically. metaphorically. Oh, his beautiful nipples. It was the nipples. I was right. And if you guys want to watch us more, go to the Patreon. Thanks to Aeromir, Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Calm Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal X Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, G3 Om, Gov, Stargazer, Gioni Snare, Yorison, Helio, Hunter Pearson, Hummus, Isaiah Alford, Jace LaRue, K99, Kamui, Lilac Moon, Murik55, Native5, Omega Waffles, by the way, Patrick Case Randolph, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Sean City Navy Gaming, Tieran Stills, Trinity Martin, Val Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Lime. Thank you guys so much.